Hey everyone, in today's video tutorial, I'm gonna show you the working of a sensor that is CPS120. To gain more knowledge about this sensor, let's go to controleverything.com and here search for CPS120. Now, CPS120 is a digital barometer altimeter, commonly known as a pressure sensor. It has a factory calibrated temperature and pressure values and has a programmable resolution of 8, 10, 12, or 14 bits. So I will be displaying it uh, later in this video. For today, I will be interfacing this sensor with an Arduino. For that, we need the code. So this is a resource tab and here is our Arduino code sample. Click on this sample and you will be able to download it from here. You can also have this sensor code from our GitHub repository, control everything community. Now let's have a look over the hardware connections which we will require later in this video and let's proceed further. Now for the hardware connections, first of all we require an Arduino Nano which you are able to see on my screen. Now this is an I2C shield. This I2C shield is available on our website controleverything.com. This is useful in making connections with other I2C devices rather easy. So make this connection and gently place the I2C shield and the Arduino Nano like this. Now what we need is our sensor that is CPS120 and this is the connecting cable. Now make this connection with the connecting cable and the sensor like this and while making this connection please make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same goes for the I2C shield. Now to power up our Arduino we need a mini USB cable which you are able to see on my screen and make this connection like this. So this is the connection which we will require for this project. Now let's proceed further with our port. For the interfacing among the sensor and the Arduino Nano, we require our code. So for that, go to github.com and here search for control everything community which you are able to see on my screen. Click on it and here is our sensor that is CPS120. This is our required Arduino code. Before moving to the code, one instruction says that we have to download and install Arduino software ID on our local machine and this link provides the installation software process so please do it carefully now get back to the code and here is our code the code is with dot ino extension as you can see the first thing is you notice is we have included wire.h library and the address of the sensor is 0x28 in the void setup function we have initialized serial communication and with the baud rate 9600 in the next thing we have requested 4 bytes of data and we have read those 4 bytes of data. Now in the conversion part we have converted pressure and temperature using the formulas which are described clearly in the data sheet. Now at the end of the code we have our output data at the monitor in the form of pressure which has unit kilopascal along with temperature in celsius and fahrenheit scales. So this is how our code works. Now let's see how it works with the sensor. Now comes the interesting part that is the practicality of this code. So for that, first of all, copy this entire Arduino code and open up the Arduino. Now here we have to paste the entire code as you can see on my screen and name it as CPS120 for the reference and now verify and compile the code. It's done. Now upload the code. It might take a while but it will be over soon. So as we are done with the uploading process, now we have to check for the serial monitor for the output. So let's have it. Now as you can see, we have the pressure and the temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit. Now what we require is to apply some pressure over the sensor. Now as you can see, there is a change in pressure and the temperature as I apply pressure over the sensor. Now again, when I apply some pressure again, you can see there is again a change in pressure and temperature in both the scales Celsius and Fahrenheit. So this is how the code works along with the sensor. Now what we require is to have a look over the benefits, the features and the applications of the sensor CPS120. The CPS120 is a high quality, low cost, capacitive, absolute pressure sensor solution with a compensated digital pressure and temperature output for low pressure applications such as barometric sensing. 
The CPS120 SIP system in a package solution comprises of an ultra small capacitive MEMS pressure sensor and a conditioning ASIC for accurate pressure measurements in factory calibrated range with 5 to 120 kilopascal full scale. So it is applicable for a wide range of applications such as portable and stationary barometers, altimeters, weather stations, GPS applications, industrial equipment, vacuum systems and so many. You can purchase the sensor from the website controleverything.com and you can have the sensor code from the resource tab and you can have as a zip file. Now you can also download the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end, I would just like to make it clear that in case if you have any queries you can reach us on controleverything.com and you can post your comments on the community page of ours. Now for the relevant articles and blogs you can have a look over instructivus.com and to subscribe more video tutorials you can have a look over our YouTube channel. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.